Alright, hello and welcome back everyone. So the Dreadnoughts in EVE did remind me of this game. I did play this game a couple years ago while it was in the, I believe in the open beta or even back when it was in alpha. So I decided to come back to this game a little bit and see uh, what has changed. Now back then I had a pretty bad uh, PC so I couldn't uh, fully enjoy the game. Now things changed so uh, I'm very very interested to see uh, how the game progressed throughout the years. I've actually heard that the game did uh, kind of go down uh, for some time before they uh, relaunched it so not quite sure what happened there but in any case I'll just quickly show you some of my ships here. Now we have several classes uh, from Corvettes to Dreadnoughts. My favorites in this game are surprisingly destroyers. Also you have uh, the artillery cruisers which are kinda... They're kinda, I don't know, um, not quite sure with what other ship I can compare them with but uh, they do some immense damage so uh, they are also very interesting. Now uh, this is I believe the current highest tier dreadnought that I have. So a uh, couple tiers. I'm currently tier 3 working my way through uh, that tier to get the tier 4 ships. This is a corvette, smallest class that you can fly here. And of course uh, the biggest ship that you can fly here is definitely the Dreadnought, but in my case I'll be I'll be flying mostly destroyers surprisingly because destroyers in this game are actually pretty good. Alright, well um, will be time to jump in in the first match and well let's see what we will get. Red Sands, alright, this is the first match today. Okay, hmm, interesting description. I don't remember this being in the... being last time when I played the game. Oh man, uh, I did play this game like in 2016 or 2017, so roughly three or four years ago. Well, um... I'm definitely very happy to see this game still being alive. Now, keep in mind, my internet is pretty bad. Actually, my internet... Uh, I think it did slow down in the last year or two, somehow. Basically, it used to be good, but now it's pretty destroyed, to be honest. Alright, well... Let me pick the ship. You know, I'll just take uh, the Dreadnought for the first round, because why not? And you can also take a look at the other player's ships here. This is... yeah, this is gonna be fun. Alright, let's warp into the field. And let the games begin. Okay, now uh, the ship's stats are going to be increased for this type of match so you might see me be very fast in a ship that's uh, actually very slow dreadnoughts in this game are extremely slow but they do offer some decent protection good armor and decent firepower although the stars are way better in terms of firepower than a dreadnought the destroyers would be somewhere between a dreadnought and uh, the artillery cruiser. Because the artillery cruisers are very fast, but they literally have no tank, no armor. They go down very quickly. While the destroyer is something in between. They can take hits, but at the same time, they can also do some decent damage. Okay, let me just fly around a little bit find a find a good spot to to travel to 
of course, team play and teamwork is going to be very important. It's always important. And I forgot, uh, we also have tactical cruisers here, which serve as logistic ships that can repair your own team. Always make sure to shoot them down first. They can repair very good, so they can be a problem. That was the first kill, this is going to be the second kill, hopefully. Alright, nice. Two ships down, let's go to the next one. Okay, third down, let's go to the next one. So far so good, we are doing some decent damage on on their fleet. Okay, next one, basically mowing them down at the moment. Overall a very decent start. Well, they are trying to hide, let me quickly do this. Okay, nice, let's go to the next one. Another one has been destroyed. Oh, did not see this destroyer here. You also have primary and secondary weapons that you can switch. Secondary weapons good against smaller ships that are close. Primary weapons good at medium to long distances. So far, works quite well. Okay, let's go and shoot down the next one. Oh, that little that little Corvette trying to get close. Well, not my watch. Okay, nice. Oh, okay. This dreadnought jumped on top of me. Alright, my team actually did help at destroying that one. Let's shoot down the next dreadnought. They are warping, they are over there. Actually not warping, they're just jumping on the field. Something like a micro warp drive or micro jump drive. I don't like to use that module here in this game, but it's a pretty good module, can save you in risky situations. As you can see the tactical cruiser is repairing my ship quite well, so I can just sit here and take damage. I did miss with my torpedoes there because I accidentally went backwards and I hit the the rock over here instead of that ship. Okay, this one is very close, so let's focus this ship down next. That tactical cruiser needs to go down. They are repairing that dreadnought quite well. Hmm, 
Where did they go? They jumped out somewhere and I did not see where. Probably somewhere behind me. So now I have to... Now it's the good opportunity to shoot down these tactical cruisers. Okay, that's one tactical cruiser down. Let's find the next one. I don't see any other ship on the map in close proximity, so... I think I'll just... Yeah, I'm gonna hold this position here. Seems to be working quite well so far. Oh, that one is almost going down. Nice, okay. Understood. Hi, Captain. Engaging. That one is very far away. Send the on the edge of my range here. But still can hit, so I'll just shoot at them. Oh, okay, we have this... We had this destroyer there. Did not see it coming. Our corvette approaching, switching to the secondary, and should have enough time to shoot it down. All right, okay. Let's go to the next one. That one is also quite close. Broadside ballistic guns have a. Thanks for the assist. Broadside batteries fire. Vultures are understood. Swapping to primary weapons, Captain. Amplifying weapons, I. Enemy destroyer. Okay, so far so good. I think yeah, we are we are leading. 64 to 26. Oh, did not see this one. That was a nice, nice broadside. This is the next target. Hmm, they have jumped somewhere. Probably back to... Back to their base over there. I got well I almost said it I almost said that I got webbed. Uh, these are not webs. Uh, these were jamming missiles that slow your ship down for a couple of seconds. Now I'm getting shot at from somewhere, not quite sure from where. Oh, okay. Swapping to primary weapons, Captain. Okay, nice. That was one. That was one lucky artillery cruiser. It survived on very low health there, but one hit was more than enough. Okay, that's the next one. Okay, nice. Has been destroyed. Let's find the next target. Five kilometers, just, just enough for me to be able to hit them. Launch all vultures. Thanks for the assist. Okay, nice. Next one. Let's go after. We have one ship approaching us over there. It's a destroyer, I believe. Yeah, it is. Oh no, that's a that's a artillery cruiser. My apologies. Okay, it's destroyed. Let's go after the next one. Amplifying weapons, I. Enemy missiles incoming, Captain. Deploy countermeasures, I, Captain. Okay, nice. Launching vulture missiles. Our log, our logistic cruiser doing a pretty good job at keeping me alive. I'm getting hit from several angles, <laughs> but you. I'm barely taking any damage. So, Hang so far, so good. Up, 
amplifying weapon systems. And they are trying to hide down there, but that's not gonna work, I think. Vulture missiles have a clean shot. Send the vultures. Enemy missiles incoming, Captain. Okay, I think it's time for me to move because they are pushing to our field, so... Thanks, or can I actually hold? Hmm. Let's find that Captain. out. I think I should be good because I have one, two, three, three logistic cruisers uh, repairing me. That was one cabin. sneaky ship that I almost missed. Launch all vultures. Countermeasures activated. Ninety-six to thirty. I think we are actually going to win after this. This ship is destroyed. Oh, one more. Okay, ninety-eight to thirty-two. That's the score that you can see on the bottom right corner and we won well uh, this was a very nice first match a very good victory a good job to our team here they sure did keep us alive very impressive all right let's see the scores if uh, if i actually include them here oh okay well it seems like that wasn't that wasn't that bad. It was actually pretty good. Did get the first place here f somehow. All right, uh, let's see what is this. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And of course, I played with the dreadnought. All right, well, uh, let's jump in the second match. We'll fly. A, we'll fly a different ship this time. We'll be taking the the, the the destroyer here which is I believe tier 3 it's a pretty good ship in any case so let me let me just do this real quick Alright, let's go towards the next match. Uh, Red Sands, oh, okay. So, uh, in the first match I flew a Dreadnought, now I'll fly a Destroyer. Just to show you... No, I really like the Destroyers in this game, uh, and they're kind of my main ship here. Uh, because they are fast, they also do plenty of damage, and they have some very interesting modules that you are going to see here in action. Uh, overall, uh, the ship that I don't know how to fly uh, are the tactical cruisers. I just die all the time if I fly that, so I just stick to uh, I just stick to the ships that I am good at. You know, don't want to make the team angry in uh, in any case. So it's a it's a similar game mode. Actually, it's the same game mode from before. So don't be surprised by our ships being very fast okay let me pick my destroyer there we go everything is now in place well this game definitely does look pretty good very pretty actually Unreal Engine 4 magic all right, All uh, let's let me jump in. Got let's see what will incoming. happen. Okay, you can immediately see how fast and maneuverable these ships are compared to the to the dreadnoughts. It also has uh, a lot of big cannons that also have big range, 
and and have pretty damn good DPS. So who shall be my first Understood. victim? Let's see. Weapons, Captain. Okay, just testing out uh, the sensitivity for a moment. Let's see where my team will go. Don't want to go alone there. Would be not a good idea to just rush alone. That might be the first target over there. I see that their artillery cruiser is already doing some damage. Okay, that's the primary target. So let's quickly remove that ship from the field. Okay, that's the first ship down. Now these ships have plenty of DPS and they uh, are perfect at shooting down stuff pretty quickly. That's the second ship down. Now that the Dreadnought might be tanky, we will, we will see what will happen. Thanks, and also a good trait of uh, the Stur's fast reload time. As you can see, it, relo it reloads very fast on the primary guns. We're locked on, Captain. Missiles! Amplifying weapons on. Missile silos reloading, Captain. Thanks for the assist. Okay, nice. Let's focus down the next ship. Okay, so far we are winning, but we are winning barely, 14-8 currently. I'll have to work at focusing down the tactical cruisers. They might be repairing the enemy team, so have to be the primary target. Fourteen ten now. They are catching up. Amplifying weapons on. That that tactical that destroyer. Or whatever that ship is, uh, pretty lucky, but not not that lucky because well, it was destroyed. Now that's a artillery cruiser, that's a logistic there. So let's just focus down on on that ship first. Should go down after. Well, that one is tanking quite well. Let's see if they can su they can survive that. Okay, good. Next target is that logistic cruiser. Let him loose. And they're also tanking because they're getting repaired. But I think I can go through the through the tank here. Yeah, they're going to uh, excellent. Okay, okay, excellent. The next target will be that tactical cruiser. Hopefully I can break the tank. We'll try to break the tank, however. Not quite sure if I'll be lucky at doing that. Seems like I will, because they're going down. Okay, excellent. Another one of these ships has been destroyed. There is a... oh, 
That one is close. Did not see this one coming. Understood. Swapping to primary weapons, Captain. Amplifying weapon systems. But quickly destroyed, so let's just shoot down the next one. This one is also pretty close. Torpedoes did do some good damage, but wasn't enough. I have to use my primary turrets. Alright, nice. Nice kill, let's go after the next one. I'm taking some serious damage there. I have to retreat for a moment and wait for the ship to be repaired. It had to be this this little corvette that sneaked in. And they're also on low. Okay, they have been destroyed. Excellent. Okay. Oh, the next one. Are oh, they sure want me dead now? <laughs> Well, uh, all right, good. The missiles did hit that little ship on time. My hull has been repaired, so time to return back to my position. The dreadnought is the next target now. Okay, now I have to hide. I have been... I'm getting set on fire here to be honest, so I have to take a little cover, wait for my hull to be repaired and then back in action. Oh, okay. I want the destroyer here. Excellent. But we lost one of our... Actually, we lost both of our logistic cruisers here. That's not good. Hopefully the missiles will reach that ship. And they seem to be stuck there. Alright, nice. And they have been destroyed. 44-40. A very close score, very close fight so far. Almost. Almost had that one. Have to be careful. There is no logistic around me. And that Corvette can be a problem. So let's just focus it down with missiles. Okay, they are getting close. Alright, nice. They have been destroyed. The next target will be that Dreadnought. Overheating the weapons. Did plenty of damage. They are now warping somewhere, jumping. Okay, they are behind us. That was a mistake, by the way. Uh, out there, the logistic can't repair them, so they went down fast. Okay, nice. There is one destroyer here. Let's quickly shoot this one down. 54 52. Still very close. Alright, nice. Uh, let's see who shall be the next one. Okay, this one is in range. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see. I like how I'm like wasting most of my missiles because I destroy all of these ships with my main turrets. The missiles are just there to, in case I miss with my turrets, the missiles can reach them. That Corvette is jumping, and well, one hit was more than enough to shoot it down. Okay, we have this ship there, that's 
going down fast. Okay, nice. Next one is this destroyer. I know destroyers are dangerous, so I just focus them down if, if possible. Next one, next one is this dreadnought. Or this artillery cruiser. Yeah, let's go after that one. Alright, nice. That was a good call. Let's go after this one. Trying to... Trying to catch us on the side. So... Let's quickly shoot it down. Finally, my missiles and torpedoes actually hit something. Alright, that was good. Another Corvette is jumping in, but I focused. I'm focusing on on both. Okay, that's the that's that ship that can be a problem because they're small and fast. Okay, the flak turrets do have some area damage when they explode. That's good. Good to know. Did want to try that idea out and seems like it actually works. Okay, good. Have a lock. Call the shot, Captain. Fire missiles, I, Captain. Reloading silos. That artillery cruiser over there does not like me at all. So let me try to avoid getting shot by one. Confirmed. Enemy dreadnought destroyed. Amplifying weapons, I. That's a very nice... Ah, oh, and I re the reload. The reload kind of ruined the perfect, perfect aim there. The dreadnought saved that tactical cruiser. Or... It didn't, it actually was destroyed by, by my missiles, okay. Time for me to go, because I got... I'm stuck. The Corvette sent torpedoes my way. And I got stuck. I think I'm actually going to get destroyed here, or am I going to actually survive? I'm alive, okay, good. And we won. That was a very nice, very nice ride here. That was a lucky escape as well. Did not expect to survive that in the end, but I did. So uh, let's see the score in the end. Should be pretty good. Uh, I did plenty of damage. So, oh, okay. Well, that's a pretty good score. Almost 4,000. Interesting. Alright, well, um, this was a very... I'm glad that this game is still alive. Uh, we'll be playing it from time to time, of course, and hope that you enjoy it. Uh, as always, uh, fly safe, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.